that first pilot album, it's titled from the album of the same name, released in the fall of 1974 under the EMI label. It's produced by Alan Parsons. It was recorded at Abbey Road Studio 2, the lead single, Just a Smile, the one you just mentioned. Now, that did okay, but the follow-up single is a massive hit, and that is magic. And uh, I, you know, I asked people about that song. I've been bringing up the fact that I'll be interviewing you, and I said, you know, he wrote that song, Oh, 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 it's magic. And it's an immediate response. Like they'll say, Oh, God, I remember the first time I heard that. Re- that reminds me of, or, you know, I, I just, I play that for my kids and they love it. To have a song like that, to, to go on from generation to generation, that's got to be such a huge gift. Oh, it is. Uh, you know, and the, and the song's coming up for 50 years old now. Wow. I, I never expected that it would have legs that has got the the longevity and even my grandkids you know they're proud to introduce me to their friends and say oh this is my granddad he wrote magic you know and the guys go wow you wrote that song brilliant you know i even even met um, a a few artists that that have congratulated me on writing the song so for me um that is a big thrill to have people that you admire saying to you among them, a guy named Brian Wilson. Exactly. Not bad. Not bad at all. You write about composing the four bars on piano. And then after that, the challenge was getting the right verse. Can you share with us how that verse came to you? Yeah, well, I, as you say, I had the chorus. I had this little chorus that just went, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, it's magic, you know. Never believe it's not so. It's only four bars. And I used to sit at my piano with a cassette recorder above the piano and every time I wrote something, even something that was just four bars, I would press record and record that little four bar piece, then move on to something else. So that little piece was on my cassette player waiting for a verse to come along. I had to get up early one morning as the sun was rising and uh, I accidentally woke my wife up as I was getting up and she said to me, wow, look, I've never been awake to see the daybreak. And suddenly I heard it as a melody and and I, my little magic chorus came into my head and I thought, this little line, I've never been awake to see the daybreak. Well, I modified it a little bit, never been awake, never seen a daybreak. But I knew there and then I had a full song. Most songs, you only need a verse and a chorus. Sometimes you'll add a middle eight, but magic didn't need the middle eight. And yeah. that was it. Yeah, I usually get it from something that somebody says to me, you know, and, and just a little line or or even, you know, I, I wrote a song called Love Is, which was based on the little notepad that you used to get. And it said, love is in, in the corner. You know, little things like that. It's it's always something somebody says and you just think, oh, that sounds like it could be a song. So you have to let it come to you. You can't really force something like that. You just kind of keep keep an open mind. Yeah, you have to be receptive to it. It's like a door opening in your head for me. It's like a door opening in my head, but the door up above my head has to open as well, and in it comes. You know, it's like being yeah. fed with something. Fascinating. Yeah, yeah. The single went number one in Canada, top five in the U.S., number eleven in the U.K. And to this day, like I said, people love the song. And Brian Wilson told you in 2011 when he met you that. He wished he wrote it. And then even the nurses who took care of you many years later mentioned this song. This is great. Can you tell the story? This is your hospital visit in 2006. Uh, yeah. Um, I, I had to have a camera inserted into my urethra. And uh, it was a slightly embarrassing uh, procedure that uh, the nurses try to put you at ease. You know, there's always one at your side. So was saying to me, so Mr. Payton, uh, did you take the day off work today? Yes, I took the day off work. She said, what do you do? I said, oh, I'm a musician. I have my own studio. Well, have you recorded anyone famous? I said, well, I've recorded Nobby Clark. He used to sing with the Bay City Rollers. She says, oh, I've met uh, Les McEwen. I said, oh, I met Les in Australia when I was on tour. Oh, you were on tour? <laughs> what do you do? I said, well, I was with my own band, Pilot. Pilot, she says, I know that name. Wasn't that the, the song Magic? I said, yeah, that's the song. So she started to sing, oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, it's magic. Meanwhile, I'm lying there with a gown on. With a gown, I'm, yeah. <laughs> so they could have access to this. <laughs> and, and the nurse was singing this song to me. 
it was kind of embarrassing. And then I, over my shoulder, I caught a glimpse of two other nurses who had appeared at the door, and they were both pointing at me and saying, that's him there. <laughs> you know, <I> was like, <laughs> oh, no. 